What's going on, my people? Fine line seventeen twenty one checking back in, giving you guys another first look, quick look, whatever you want to call it. Got the Camo Five slated to release uh, September second. So, without you know further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. First off, you know we got the box, your regular Jordan Five retro box. Nothing special, nothing different. Got the size tag. Uh, these are 190. The retail suggested MSRP was, you know, taken out by the store, or whatever. You know, you're selling them early. I don't know why they take it off. <clears throat> like people don't have the internet, you know, and just know the price of these shoes. But so whatever. Um, official colorway, dark stucco, university red. As you can see the style number. Um, all that good shit. Like I said, there's nothing really special, nothing different about this box. Get into it. Got your stamp there. Quality control on the side. Your box. I mean, the inside, the paper should come with this little extra paper right there on the side. Uh, pull out these shoes. These right here is probably one of the best non-OG colorways. You know what? No, fuck that. These probably are one of the best retro fives that ever released. Like, I honestly would put these up there with, like, you know, fear fives, grape fives, just in my honest opinion. Like, the black grapes, you know, like, this colorway is nice. I like to call them a little fake bait, you know, because they got that bait effect to the tongue and the um, heel. But these joints are nice. Can't front. I, I'm not even like a real big fan of Retro Fives, but these joints are nice. Um, right here is pretty much the best color representation, you know, that I could possibly give on this shoe. Got that. Kind of icy blue bottom. And Cam is coming up a lot more blue than it is in person. But uh, the colorway, it almost kind of looks gray. But it's not. It's actually um, green. And as I said, you got that back heel with the um, camouflage effect. A little Air 23. There's on the tongue. A little red jump man inside of the uh, push clamp. Like, man, that tongue is nice. It's a nice tongue. The material, it's it's a it's a nice material. It's um it's not that that uh you know, like that, that, that real soft, soft suede, but it's not the type of suede that you get on the, um, like a fear five, like a oil suede, but these is nice. The material, um, use is very nice as far as quality go. When it comes to putting suede on the Jordans, you know, you definitely will see like, you know, little, little glue marks on it. Here and there, but it's it's not, you know, uh, a deal breaker because it's not really that noticeable as we're going around the whole shoe, around to the medial side. Uh, on there. Uh, same, it's, it has a little texture on the camouflage because it is uh, 3M, which I'll show you guys. Bottom is green, icy sole, the red jump man. Yeah, these these are nice. This is this is very nice. On to the other shoe. See if it's any real quality control issues. Nice soft material. You can see a little uh little stroke, you know, switching of the, the material, but like I said, it's it's 
it's really not that soft, but it definitely seems like a, a good quality where, you know, it doesn't seem like it's going to, you know, mess up on you too quick. A nice and sturdy shoe. Yeah. Not a really a lot of quality control issues on these because the one thing about this shoe also is it's not mass produced. So the quality on them is pretty good. These will release. It's, it's a general release. Don't get me wrong, but it is a limited general release. Like one of my retailers that I shop with, they only got 12 pair, one size each. One of my other retailers, they got in 36 pair, which is pretty much two 18 packs. And any Nike release or, or you know, Jordan release where you get that 18 pack is pretty it's pretty limited, you know. It's like I said, it's it's a GR, but it's not a mass-produced sneaker. So if you like these, you definitely want to jump on top of these, cause it's a nice colorway for one. They come around the 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 first of the month. A lot of people got them checks, so I don't see this one like really just sitting on shelves. Plus, it's back to school time. So this one is not going to be one of those just sitting on shelves, man. Nice colorway, perfect timing, and it's not a lot being made. So if you like them, definitely get on top of it. I just wanted to throw that in real quick before I get back into further details on the shoe. So real quick, back tab, got your upside down Air Jordan as usual. inside this is how your um insert should come it should it should come with the the back not the one that's like just cut off you know and got the little middle part right there as i showed a lot of other times when it comes to retro fives now this is a size nine so these come nine nine and a half um nice thick one stuffed paper underneath Size nine, same uh, kind of like olive green insole with the red jump man. Retro fives is kind of hard to see that uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to get up in there to get that uh, that that size and label, but that's just so it's so you guys can see how they're coming. Check for if you got a retail pair or not. Well, guys, there you have it. Full quick look. Upcoming retro fire release. Dark stucco, camo, whatever you want to call them. Very, very nice, clean shoe. Good quality on these. So if anybody checking for quality, this is definitely a good look. Good colorway. It's slated to release September 2nd. These are up for pre-order right now on fineline1721.com. Click the link down below and be sure to follow me on my social media. Both handles are the same, fineline1721. That goes for Instagram and Twitter. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Click that bell so you guys can stay up to date with notifications. And, and into the next video, be smooth, bless up. I got three bad bitches in my kitchen. Straight up, straight up. I ain't trying to hear your shit. Trying to tell me how to trap, but I ain't listening. I got three bad bitches in my kitchen. Uh, every time I turn around, they kissing. Got Henny in my cup, but what you sippin'? All that disrespectful shit gon' get you missin' My bitch standin' in the meals lookin' tasty You want me to stop the flexin', nigga, make me